my name is Ilya Edelman. I'm uh, the president and co-founder of Rain Tree School. We are Reggio Emilia inspired preschool and kindergarten and kids start here when they're two years old and they go all the way through kindergarten and graduate when they're six. By the time they graduate, they're like a little team. It's amazing to see the really complex goals that they can accomplish once they've learned how to work together. So the way that this whole Roa project came about, my son is six years old. He asked me to Google his name, and his name is Roa, it's R-O-A. We discovered this Belgian street artist who goes by the pseudonym Roa. My son was just blown away by this art. His art is very anatomical, <laughs> it's very biological, so there's a lot of uh, skeletons and, and organs and all animals, so it's all skunks and raccoons and deer and snakes and crocodiles and all kinds of stuff. He paints them just, you know, out in the street. He paints them on buildings. A lot of them are very huge scale murals. So my son discovered these, was really amazed by them, and came in to the kindergarten class here and shared those drawings with the kids. At the same time, the kids in this classroom had been exploring the woods, and they found two deer skeletons. They were just amazed with these things. So they started thinking about what they could do with them, and they decided that they wanted to build a robot, a bone robot. So it was a robot that incorporated the skeleton. This is when my son came in and shared these drawings with them. Could have been in a better moment. They were just amazed. They immediately came up with all kinds of questions. That day they decided that they wanted to write a letter to the artist and ask him to paint them a picture. And so of course we said, sure, yeah, let's write him a letter. And we did. And it took some internet sleuthing to, because he's anonymous and you know we didn't know how to start, go about looking for him. But we finally got in touch with him and I sent him all these letters and they, the kids had drawn him some pictures. And I thought that would be the end of it. About a month later, we got an email back saying, hey, you know, I've been busy, but I got your letter and I'm really excited about this. It seems like a really neat project. You know, sure enough, uh, he's here this week and the kids are just beside themselves. They're very excited to see what he's going to paint. You want to ask a question? Why do you paint so big? I like painting big. It makes, I don't know, like when you finish a really big painting, it makes you feel really good because you are so small and then suddenly you realize that you use your time to make something really big and it gives you a good feeling. But it's also fun to paint big because if you draw small, it's very... But if you paint big, it's almost like a sport or like a dance or, you know, like it's fun. How do you paint so good? I don't know, like I try really hard and I practice a lot and I still practice a lot, and I still try really hard. Why do you paint animals? I always liked animals as a kid. I always liked them, and I think we live in a world with a lot of houses everywhere, and you don't see animals so much, so it's good to put some animals back in on the houses, so you don't forget them. Why are you anonymous? I think it's more about the painting than about me. And it's fun to be anonymous. It's like, it's a little bit like, I don't know, Spider-Man. It's fun too, you know? <laughs> One of the things that we really pride ourselves on is giving kids agency. That is giving them the ability to change the world, right? And not in a grandiose way, but change the world in a very small sense. Change the world around them, change the immediate world. <laughs>